All right. The final sanding before the uh, instrument goes to finish. Uh, I'd like to really point out an important thing here. We see uh, machinery used for a lot of steps, but in fact, and I'm really pleased about this, most of the work on the Yamaha Attitude Bass is done by hand. And that's a very important thing, I believe, because as, as players, as artists, you know, we're, we're doing our craft, and it's nice to know that uh, we're playing on an instrument that wasn't just stamped out in some big factory. There's actually artists who put their blood, sweat, and tears into uh, creating the instrument we play. Okay, this is the final step. How you doing, okay? Very nice. <laughs> Sonic blue is the color. As you can see by the wall, we've sprayed a few of them already. And uh, this is the final step where the finish is applied by hand. And like I said earlier, uh, seeing things done by hand on a beautiful instrument like this is, is wonderful because uh, a lot of uh, these gentlemen's skill go into uh, creating uh, a beautiful musical instrument like this. Can I spray a little bit? Uh, is that, it's okay, I can do a little bit. Don't worry, I won't mess it up. Here we go. You give me this thing here. I pick this up and uh, and it's not quite as easy as it looks because you've got to get all the bends and all the all the curves, do it absolutely correct, and not have it drip at all. I know from trying to spray paint things at home and uh, it probably happened to you too, it's hard to really do it right. It has to be done by hand, it has to be done by an artist. So this gentleman's gonna take over and do it properly so that I don't mess it up. There's some, uh, some attitude owner doesn't wanna get anything less than the best. Okay, very good. Okay, a very important uh, one of the final steps, not the, but a very important one, is uh, fret dressing and fret leveling. Where the truss rod is adjusted, the neck is made absolutely flat and absolutely right, and uh, they measure uh, with an absolute uh, straight edge to make sure uh, no fret is up too high or too low. So as your string goes down that neck, every fret you get a good solid note and you're not rubbing on a fret you shouldn't be rubbing on. Okay, final assembly. This gentleman is putting the uh, tuners on, including the hip shot detuner. Uh, all the features that uh, the bass has, other than the neck and body now, are assembled at this point. So, what's happening on the bass then? He's assembling the tuners now, uh, the string holder, uh, the hip shot detuner. The uh, nut was already assembled at the end of the fretting. Uh, down here we're gonna have the, the strap buttons put on. As you saw, in one piece, this whole uh, section goes on with this pickup, with the woofer pickup. The DiMarzio pickup pops in there also, uh, probably before that, of course. The jack plate is another new feature of this instrument. One of the only problems we had with the old uh, attitude bases was we had to use a special kind of a jack in this section here. And uh, rarely did they ever fail, but I did have one fail once, and it was hard to adjust them in case the, the little part that hooks onto the tip of your pl uh, a plug when you plug it in uh, sometimes bends out of shape a little bit and you can't get in there to fix it. Now this one we use normal jacks so you can fix that no problem, very easy. And, and the double uh, plate assembled this way is a little bit easier on production than carving it out of wood and then, re and then putting it in from behind like the old ones were. Uh, then the uh, bridge of course is put on. Now you may have noticed if you saw closely uh, the body, the way it was cut out, the bridges are countersunk into the body. Now that was one of the tweaks I did on my old attitude bases. I would always have them take it to the custom shop and have them drop the bridge in a little bit farther to get the strings a little bit closer to the body, just kind of the way I liked it. A lot of people wanted the bass the way I used it, so we decided on this bass to do the countersinking of the bridge, just like it is uh, on all my bases. So that's already built in. Pickups, uh, knobs are put on afterwards, after the uh, uh, assembly uh, uh, of the plate and uh, pickguard are put in there. And uh, then, basically, it's assembled, except for the strings, and they'll be put on at some point, too, I assume. And then we actually have now what's beginning to look like an actual beautiful Sonic Blue Yamaha Attitude Limited Bass version 3. Pretty awesome.
Well, it was quite a it's quite a journey all the way to this point.